look at me, and then look at the wig. Locked in. <laughs> Whoa, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by Kalai Hair. They sent me another unit to review for you guys. Now, before we get into this glueless, easy breezy, affordable textured install, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so like I said, this unit comes to us from Kalai Hair. All the specs of my unit are right here on the screen, so if you wanna check it out, you can. This should be fairly easy. Y'all have seen me do a kinky curly wig on my channel before. I'm definitely gonna be rocking this unit glueless, so if you've been here for a while, you already know the steps I'm about to take. But if you're new here, go ahead and have a seat and take notes, okay? <laughs> Where's my wig cap? Now, I did wash this unit because the smell was, it was strong, Kalai. I did wash and rinse it until the water was clear. However, the smell is still is still lingering. So I'm still gonna get this joint a little home bath, okay? A little spritzing real quick because I gotta get that. I can't be having that smell up around my face. I just I can't do it. So dry shampoo and then spritz it with some water. Pat it all in. Smells better already. Thank you. Thank you. This should be like when I say quick, I mean quick. It does come with the adjustable elastic band, you know, the thick joint with the little hooks. I like the hooks. Thank you so much. I ain't put it on my head. No wig grip yet until I see how it's sitting on me. Bars. <laughs> so hairline. Mm, it's cute for a little starter pack, but y'all know I'm gonna do a little, do a little extra right up in here. Let's get them out. You can't really pull too much on a curly wig because it's very forgiving. Now on a straight wig, you, you're gonna see them bald spots. I asked them, what, like last month, could they do a kinky curly texture in the auburn color? And they said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Kalai. If you haven't seen my pulling video, I will link it down below so you guys can do that. But it's very simple once you, you know, once you learn how to do it for yourself. If you're a newbie, it may not work for you. You'll have a little bit more control with your tweezers, but as you get more confident in your plucking and pulling, you can, you know, do what I do, okay? Ooh, real nice. Get the little claw clip. <laughs> claw clip. <laughs> Oh, still no sense, y'all. I'm not going to tint the lace just yet, or do I? Let me just, <laughs> I'm gonna use my 360 mocha powder from Maybelline Fit Me. It's the pressed powder. I'm gonna tint it just so I can see how it's looking. Now, most of this will come off when I do my um, my mousse around my hairline, because you know that's water-based. Blend some of the knots in like so. Let me tighten it down a little bit more, because I do got some room in that joint. So all that is down, yes and yes. So use your razor, cut your lace off. Oh, I didn't cut off my ear tabs, look at me rushing. The way the wig is constructed, it kind of goes at a slant anyway, so you don't really get like, you know, heavy ear tabs. Ain't too much to cut off. Let me get a little bit more right here behind the hairline. So next up, you know why I'm here. Okay, the Nairobi mousse all around the hairline, that's what we're gonna use. Two big pumps, like this. Tap, 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 and then swirl it all in. They did send me a band. I wrap her down, and there we go with that. Okay, I believe this is a 13 by four parting space. You don't get a lot of it, but I ain't too worried about that because how I'm wearing my curly units anyway these days um, are more like, you know, kind of just all over the place. There are some layers in this wig, so that's good. Pin this side up. Hands on your knees. I don't know why that came in my head. It's Christmas, what am I doing? I did detangle the hair um, during the co-wash. I shouldn't have many knots or tangles on this wig. Nairobi again, put it all over the hair like such. Work it in, work it in. Now when I washed the unit, I did get some bleed out from the color, but not a lot. Take my Felicia Leatherwood brush, comb the ends. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> Disrespectful. I am getting some tangles on here on the ends when I'm trying to work this product through, so take your time. The old me would just been like, <laughs> I would have been fighting the curls. Don't fight it, don't fight it. Use your products, use your uh, detangler brush. You'll be just fine. Had a little struggle for like, you know, a couple seconds, but nothing crazy. You can still work it on through. Working it out, working out. Uh oh, right here, right here in the front. See the little tangle? Don't worry, get it out. Brush it on through. 
Come on, clump correctly. Clump, get, get, act right. Don't get brand new, okay? I did get some shedding during this process, and I did get some when I did the initial co-wash, which is kind of expected because it is a tight, you know, curly unit. So, you know, there's that. All right now, we're gonna clump these ones around our finger, like so. How we looking, y'all? How we looking? I think we looking good. Started from the bottom, now we here. Okay, you work all them tangles out. Make sure you clump at the root, okay? Get them curls defined. Scrunch them up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse my hair, do my makeup, and we will come back and see what she looking like. Okay. Okay, so this is how we're looking after the diffusing. I think we're looking pretty good. Let me get the band off and see how our hairline is looking. Ooh, that was tight on my ear, child. Mm. Okay, here we go. Not bad, not bad. As far as the cap construction, is Big Head Associate. But the cap fit is Big Head friendly. Like it does stretch in the back, so I do have a little bit of room. Um, it just doesn't come all the way down onto my sides. Let me go ahead and get my hair, you know, situated. So pick at the root. Okay, like that. When did you come in here? I was waiting for you to start messing up so that, that, that was a good time. Oh my <laughs> God, mess me up. I was, look, 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 sir. <laughs> so pick the hair at the root and then go under. Pick that, like that. Get some lift under there, under here. I love me a curly wig, y'all, I really do. It just, now that I know how to style it for me, I, I just love it, I love it. I look a little crooked. Ooh, a full wig in this color? Ooh, that would be cute and cheaper, so. <laughs> Come on, Kalai. <laughs> my lace is a little ashy, so I'm gonna use my excess contour around the hairline. Still don't have on my wig grip, and I think I may be okay. I'm not feeling a whole bunch of slippage, so you know, that's good. Took the diffuser off, so I'm using my blow dryer on cool and high to just blow through the rest of this hair. How we looking? How we looking? Still a tad bit damp, but as it dries down, it'll get bigger. Not too worried about that. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Hold on, I got a little fuzziness down here. What happened? This one, let me, let me get that straight. I was a little worried, like, wait a minute, Kalai, don't be sending me no trash. <laughs> fluff, 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 scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Okay, y'all, so this is the final look. What we, <laughs> look. <laughs> I want y'all to look at me and then look at the wig. Look at me and then look at the wig. Locked in. <laughs> now for me, what's the count for, for this color? I got I got the kinky straight, jerry curly, I got the curly, body wave. It's like five of them, right? This makes six, is that what it is? It's, it's a couple of them. This one right here is probably one of my favorites. The color for one and the texture. Y'all know I love me a texture wig and this kinky curly joint right here. Cop here, you hear me? Now, with this one, be mindful. Y'all can see it right here under my wig. I didn't get a lot of product right there. It's starting to get a little bushy and frizzy under there. Make sure when you are defining your curls, you're saturating this hair. Saturate the hair as much as possible and then clump the curls and then diffuse it. That will keep your curls intact. You will get some, you know, some matting and some naping around your neck because this is not a super high quality wig. I mean, you know, it's a kinky curly texture at that. No shade to Kalai. They give you what they give you for the budget, okay? So, you know, understand what you're getting for that price point but you still can make this unit last for a year or more depending on how often you rock your wigs I change out my wigs a lot I never sleep in my wigs and I don't wear wigs every single day I like to give my natural hair a break sometimes okay let it breathe and also I make sure I put the wigs back in the packs and I store them back away I don't leave them laying around my floor I mean there's one right here or a couple Shh, quiet quiet <laughs> but I'm trying to be better so store your wigs back give them a chance to last yes ma'am <laughs> <laughs> Let me move this back a little bit. I can't see. I feel like somebody sneaking up on me. It ain't nothing over there. <laughs> but that is all I got for you guys today. Shout out one more time to Kalai here for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link, my specs, and any coupon codes I have for this unit down below. So if you guys want to check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.